Yo, what's up guys? My name is Dito2000 here, and today I'm going to teach you how to smoothen your animations. Yes, a very short video, but it's going to be very helpful in some ways. So, before anything else, let's go ahead and get ready into the video. Cue the intro! <laughs> Alrighty then, so now we need to spawn in our character, as we know is Steve, who is not a man or a female, he is genderless, I think. You have a very, very, very nice shoe. It's beautiful. But anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, basically, all I want you guys to do is to, let's say, get his right arm and have him bring it up. And now look at this. You see how that's kind of smooth, but it has an instant stop? Well, this is where we're going to tamper around with it. We're going to put a frame right there and a frame right here. Extend it at least two. And... Look at that. Look at how smooth that is. You can change the timing for the first one. I don't usually do it for the first one, but only because it doesn't really help much. The ending, however, looks smooth. Do you see how that works? Uh, so you can tamper around with that a little bit and make it smooth. Because it has a little distance to go, which means it makes it less, you know, instant. Instantaneous. Look at that. Smooth. Smooth. And now let's go ahead and have the body. After I get this arm back down here. If I did that. Hold on. Let's do it too quickly. Right click. Right click. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead like that. See how that's still smooth? Okay, sweet. Now, uh, here's actually a little trick. When you move the body, move it at a short distance, and then move the head after. And, oops, I did that wrong. One. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then we go, go like that, and move the head farther. And you want to actually have the head start out after. Or before. Either or. I like doing it before. Kind of gives a smooth feeling to it. But that's actually a cheap way of doing it if you don't want to do the other way. Um, but still, you should do that first frame, first frame, and look at that. Oh, so sexy. I don't know why I said that. Alright, but yeah, that basically smoothens out all your animations. And to be honest, that's actually all there is to it, to making a smooth animation. Um... If you want to fix anything in your animations, like, use this tip. You will get very good responses to your videos when you make it smoother. So, don't be afraid to mess around with it. This is actually the kind of thing I used for when I was doing my darkness animation. Not the fight test or the flip test. Um, this one was actually for the episode that I posted. Um... Reason being for the short fight test was because that took about an hour of animating itself. And it was kind of supposed to be short because it was like 5 o'clock in the morning. So I decided to just go to sleep there. Um, it was quite quick making it and producing it. But I think it came out pretty good actually. Um, I th it did use a few of these I think. Actually you know what. Let's go ahead and look at it. Bam, we're in it, and look at this. Not much, not much indeed, but we can check this out in slow motion behind the scenes. So we just had a regular running animation, and since it was going so fast, you don't get to see much of the details and the ugliness that there is inside of it. Like, the produced version looks a lot better than the non-produced version right here. So, you don't really quite see some of the stuff that happens. So, actually, this guy slides. I managed to put that in for some reason. Like, look at that. 
I didn't put it in much detail because you're not going to see it. But yeah, look at this. And so, let's go ahead and check that out on both angles. Let's go. As you can see, it actually looks a lot better from MindMater itself, but the recording itself had a little bit of lag inside of it, so you don't get to see it in the full action that there is right here. I think it looks way better in this than instead of uh, Camtasia, however, because it just lags the heck out of it in Camtasia. Um, actually, uh, this is the guy from the fight animation that I'm doing. Um... Uh, yeah, he's actually, okay, I forgot to tell you guys this, uh, this guy's in the fight animation that I'm making very soon, it's called, like, Epic Fight or something, and I'm actually gonna change my D-Dog 2000 character to Darkness, and this is actually kind of a new character brought down to the, uh, YouTube channel that I have here, um, this character never should have existed in the first place. This is literally like a virus to life. Like, this was never supposed to happen. You were never supposed to be born, dude. This guy was never supposed to be, like, alive in this world. Like, this guy had a purpose. This guy had a purpose. This thing came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I'm going to uh, just stop the video now because it's just getting way off topic. I taught you how to do smooth stuff, and I showed you some behind the scenes. I'm just going to show you both of those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Peace out, stay high and ramble, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, and goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.